They're coming home. The remains of 16 Japanese soldiers killed on Guam during World War II have officially been handed over to the Japanese government and they'll be making their way back to the country. Acting Japan Consulate Osama Ogata tells KUAM News the repatriation of the remains has been a long time coming. The soul of Japanese soldiers will, be, will finally be able to go home and uh, rest in peace. The war dead unearthed during infrastructure projects in Agate and Matapeng. Archaeologist David DeFont performed the excavation of the remains. Another soldier's remains were discovered in the Nimitzil area. The Japanese government paid for the studying of these remains, which included extensive DNA testing. The remains found in Agate in 2016 were unearthed in what appeared to be a bomb crater as crews worked on a sewer line project in the village. The Matapeng remains discovered in 2003 during the Tumon Bay Drainage Improvement Project. Through extensive archaeological work, DeFont was able to share with us how one of the soldiers died. This bullet here, you can see it's flattened, okay. and this was recovered from um, this soldier right here. And we believe this was the cause of death. It was, uh, it was found uh, with the bone and uh, with a shattered femur leg bone. So uh, we believe that uh, is the likely cause of death. Guam was occupied by Japanese forces during World War II. DeFont also showing us buttons, buckles, and other artifacts discovered with the remains while Ogata expressed his gratitude for the transfer. Related families will be happy to see them return home as well, I think. And thank you again for Guam people and for the government of Guam. The transfer taking place at the Guam Historic Preservation Office in Agatnia Heights. Also on hand, Department of Chamorro Affairs Head Anne-Marie Arceo. Arceo used the transfer of remains to highlight the way the military currently treats ancient Chamorro artifacts discovered during build-up construction. Arceo said Chamorros must demand the military treat ancestral artifacts and remains with dignity and respect the same way we treated the remains of these Japanese soldiers. Arceo also urging leaders to push for a more noble process for dealing with the discovery and removal of cultural and historical properties from military sites. We must um, stand up for uh, taking care of ours, our history also and, and what belongs to us. It's time that we step it up and begin to do something and get more involved. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports.